Welcome to the Cavalier Sports Report at Johnson County Community College. The women's cross country team is currently ranked seventh in the nation as they prepare for the regional races coming up in just a couple weeks. Carrying the way for the women's team is Sarah the Burner Burner from Paola, Kansas. Sarah, Thank thanks you. for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you for having me. So uh, how's the season going so far? It sounds like you guys are having a lot of success. We're definitely making a lot of improvements from last season. And that was the main goal is just to improve and we're doing a lot better and we hope just to be on the podium at nationals, which would be awesome. What did you personally strive to improve on from last year to this year? Um, well, for me, I just have to work a lot harder than um, a lot of the girls, and I just want to be a good leader for everyone and just be really positive and work on knowing that we can succeed and we can do whatever we want to do if we put our minds to it. What would you say is, uh, is, is your strength on the team? It sounds like maybe you, you carry sort of a leadership role. Yeah, I would like to say so. Um, it's very important just to be positive. Even I mean, it's so easy to be negative um, with running. We, it's all about up in your mind. If you can do it, if you can't, and it's really important just to stay positive. And that is everything I hear. I've, I've got a sister who ran cross country, and, and from my understanding is that it's almost as difficult mentally as it is physically. Oh, yeah. Why in the world would you choose to do running as a sport? Well, you're putting through your body through what it doesn't want to do, but um, you kind of do have to like pain. I mean, you're going out there and running so many miles, but it's just nice to go out and do something that you never thought you could do, I guess. And, and how did you, I guess, personally decide that running is what you wanted to do? That's a good question. Um, in high school, I was just a cheerleader, and then I got into it um, through my friend and loved it. Uh, my sisters did it, and I was like, why would you want to do that? But I love it so much. How long it's have you great. been running now? Uh, six years. Six years, okay. So you were a cheerleader and then in high school, so you ran throughout high school. Yeah. What do you miss most about home? Um, well, I miss my friends, and just I lived in the country, so it was a lot different, but I definitely love living up here as well, meeting new people. And what was, I guess, uh, what was the change like moving from Paola and a little bit more country environment to the suburbs yeah. of Kansas City? Um, definitely a lot more people, a uh, lot more different kinds of people, uh, a lot of things, I don't know. What do you like the most about living up here? Um, I love just many new people and the facilities here are great. Um, it's a great community college. Uh, great places to go out and just experience new things, I guess. And you live with a couple of your teammates. Yes. What's the relationship like among the girls and the guys on the team? Um, we're like just one big family. Like, we all just hang out and have a good time, and we're good friends. We're like family. So what do you do when you guys are not racing? What do you do for fun besides study, of course? Um, we like to relax and watch movies and just all hang out together, I guess. And you've got some time before, uh, before the regional tournament. Do you yes. get anxious in between uh, races? Do you like time off or do you like to stay competing? I get so nervous. Um, I just have to relax and not think about it, I guess, but I definitely get really nervous because we all want to succeed and just try not to think about it too much, I guess. Well, you handled this interview very well, so I think if you can do this, regional should be no problem. Thanks again Thank for stopping by this morning. Thank you very much. That is Sarah, the burner burner. I am Rob Ladd. This is the Cavalier Sports Report. We'll see you next time.